Hello, hello, my beautiful crafty friends. Welcome to my studio. It's Lorette. Well, we're back again to work on my uh, Pink Shabby Tea Room Journal. And today we're going to be working on the bling. Now, I have to give a little... Um, Oh, disclaimer, I already filmed this once and it was going along really well and then the wheels fell off the bus <laughs> and it was a disaster. So everything that could go wrong did go wrong, had technical issues, you name it, we had it. Um, oh my gosh, so I won't even tell you all the things that happened because then I'd be complaining and I don't want to do that. So uh, other than to laugh, all I can do is laugh about it because it was funny, but um, not funny enough for me to keep the video. <laughs> so... Here we are today with all of our goodies, and um, like I said, we're going to work on the bling. So I want to welcome all of my brand new subscriber, subscribers. Welcome, welcome. I had my numbers really jumped up. I'm really, really thrilled. And I want to welcome back all of my regular followers, those of my um, my tribe here who follow me and watch my videos all the time and comment thank you thank you so i wouldn't be doing this without you so let's get going i just want to say welcome hello and thank you all righty now as you can see we have all these goodies here i'm going to collect them up i like to keep them in these little trays to keep things from roaming around my desk and then it's just easy to find things and i'm not digging through piles of stuff so i have a few things that i brought along i thought we might use some butterflies, all kinds of goodies. So <clears throat> I'm gonna put those kind of off the area here. I'm gonna, I think you can see some of that actually. I'm gonna move that over here. I don't know. Um, my husband's got it pretty wide today. I did make some fabric ruffles. I, I think I may be adding, and then I worked really hard on cutting, fussy cutting and getting these ready. They do need inking if I use them. And these are to go into all the pockets and things. So these are ready to go as well. So we have lots of goodies to use uh, and lots to do. I do have a new little project um, I want to share with you, and we might start off with that first. Now, one thing I do want to say is I know um, a lot of you don't normally work in pink, uh, but it is different for some of you. So what I want you to keep in mind is that when I'm working on a, a pink journal, the ideas can still be used in any other journal, whether it's an antique journal, a junk journal, a, a um, grubby journal, um, you know, the basic pieces can be used. Now, some of those, of course, you wouldn't use lace, but you could use vintage lace, grungy lace, um, and antique lace. So that would still work in the other. So the basic pieces that we use on here, things you learn to do or you see, can be converted over to whatever style you work in, even if it's botanicals. I often um, convert things back and forth. I see something done in a botanical and I turn around and do it in the shabby. Now, for those of you who are new, pink shabby is my style. It's the thing I love doing the most. I do some botanical and some Tim Holtz and some grunge, but not very often. I do it as a change up when I'm getting you know, like when I run out of ideas or I hit a wall on the pink shabby, I will go over and do some of the other things and then come back. And I do have customers who really love that. So I do, and I sell to them my pieces in my shop. So um, I do have to do some of those, but I am predominantly pink shabby. And I use the mint, teal, pink, um, occasionally the blues with the pinks and occasionally black and white with the pink. So if you see a project that is being done botanically, think pink shabby. Could I use those basic pieces done in pink? Would they work in my journal? So think of it that way too. Um, some of you only want to watch pink and white. That's fine. I have plenty of videos of, the, of projects in pink and white. Uh, if you go back and look, I have probably close to 50 videos now. So I think, you know, you could find something that to watch if you're brand new to my channel. So please don't give up on me. If I, suddenly you see me doing botanicals, don't go, oh, she quit pink. No, I didn't. I'm just taking a little break. So, just want you to know that for those of you who are new to my channel. Um, this is the first time I've done an all pink journal where the pages are pinks, but they're not all. I mean, there's whites and creams in here. Um, I have a little coffee dyed paper, but I it, this one is predominantly a pink one, but this is for my giveaway. So, at least I think this is the one I'm going to be using for the giveaway. We will see how it does with all of you. If you're in love with it and I'm getting a lot of good comments, then... Yes, it'll be my giveaway. 
Now, this is number three. So you're going to see some things in here that I did over the weekend, last weekend on Saturday. Uh, when I was in the mood, I got going. I made some videos and I just kept right on going. So one of the things is I've added lace. My lace is on here. I have about six pages of lace. Um, plus some other pieces. So that was one of the things I did. So we're going to do a little walkthrough of this, and then I think we'll work on our little project, and then we'll do some decorating, okay? Now, um, I also have to say that I was decorating on camera, on video, and then I ran into all my issues. So you're going to see things that did, it did get decorated on camera, but you're not going to see me do them because they're already done. Sorry about that. So anyway, this is not the cover page. I am working on the cover having issues with, not issues, I'm just trying to work out the logistics of it. And so probably what you'll see is just me decorate it, not put, you know, put, you. there's enough, like if you go, if you want to know how to make a journal cover, go to Gail Gustinelli's channel because she is the queen of covers as far as I am concerned. She's done every kind, shape, color, style, weight, you name it. She's done every journal there is, I think, pretty close to it. Um, so she has tons and tons of them for how to. So go check out if you want to know how to do a lace cover, if you want to know how to do a paperback cover, if you want to know how to do a uh, an Amazon cover, if you want to know how to do cardboard cover, go check Gail out because she has all of those. So if you want how to's and tutorials, she's your gal. So that's all I can say. And that's where I learned to do my covers as well. So you wouldn't be learning anything new from me in that respect. But how I decorate my covers is totally different than anybody else. So if I do decide to do that on video, then you might want to watch that. Okay. Alrighty. So I think that's all the business I have for the moment. I'll think about it as I go. So here we go. I've added the lace here. I've added a belly band here and I've got pearls and a little um, lace and a little rose applique. And then I decorated up this little card, which I did on camera. It's got some beautiful little gems and little lace and some pearls. And the gems that I use are these. And I got these on Amazon, and this was an entire set. I, I bought what I thought was one box, and this is what I got, which I was just shocked. So, And I think I just put in crystal gems or something like that, flat back gems or flat back pearls. I don't remember, but this is what I ended up with. So I was thrilled to get that. And then it even came with all the tools. So I think, you know, I hit the jackpot on that. Um, so that's what I used on here. I also used the Wicastella pen and I added some bling. I don't honestly know if this will um, track and if you're going to get the sparkles. Because I had technical issues, I am going to stand up and make sure... I am filming. Yes, I am. All righty then. Okay. I uh, just want to make sure we don't have this happen again because like, I'm not going to do it a third time. <laughs> I will just show you the finished journal. <clears throat> so then when you flip over, this was a page wrap. This wasn't a belly band. Actually, this I wrapped this around and so it's on both sides. And so I decorated up this side and I made this a little tuck pocket. And then so you have the same thing on this side. And I put one of my little... Um, Hold on a minute here. Let me see. Got to find the right page. I just put one of these little goodies on there is what I did. Um, and those are the, the ones. This is from the Shabby Art Boutique Handmade Club is where this kit came from. It's only available till the 14th of July. Then it will be gone um, for good. So if you are not a member before that time, you will not be able to get this kit ever again. It, it, you can't go back and get it later. So if she opens her vault, you can. And I, I know that's coming up real quick. So if you're gonna thinking about it's a it's a it's a club, it's a two-month minimum. If you go to Jennifer at a trace of sparkle, she has all the links for that. Um to join the club and then where to find the kits and all that. So um, you know, you might want to think about doing that if you're interested, but you're running out of time. You really are. So yeah, I got to get with it if you're interested in this kit. Because after that, you will not be able to get it. And um, I just want to show you that. There you go. So you could put some tags or cards or whatever you want in there. All right. So we've got that. We have a little lace doily. Then um, I cut this out. I fussy cut this out of one of the pages. I made a little tuck pocket and stuck that in there. I am going to go back and decorate that. That's why there's a paper clip there to remind me. This little page, I put some gems and a little bit of Wicca Stella on it. Um, 
And then this one here was supposed to be a tuck, but I got so excited. I was doing my double um, paper doily like I do. I got so excited. I accidentally glued down the whole thing, so it's not a tuck. <laughs> but I did do the Wicastella and lots of pretty little gems on it. I don't know if you could see that. And then the lace, it's a beautiful page. And then I have another page here where I just put a little gem. And this is a paper clip. And it is, let's see, I don't know. I'm hoping you're getting this. Um, these are the little mini envelopes that Gail was showing in her video. I saw Lori Fusco do these for the first time and Gail as well. And last time Gail did them, I did a huge entire uh, crystal bowl full of them. And they're just sitting there. <laughs> I forgot all about them. So when she showed the video, I went to look to see if I could find one to do a paper clip in here, and I didn't have any pink. So I just took the scraps, if I can find them, probably not. Everything's just buried right now, oh my goodness, um, which I need to pull everything out. I took the scraps that I had and turned them into this. So actually, I'm going to pull those out because I need them for my next little project. So give me a minute. I'm going to put this out on my desk move things around. And then I had tiny little bits of lace in my bucket. I mean, the tiniest little bits that I glued on there. Did a little wick of Stella, did some pearls, and then I cut out a tiny little rose and glued it on. And I've made this a paper clip, but I've also made it so, um, I'm looking for my, oh, this is the wrong color. I have another box of these in all the different colors. These are the bulb pins, but I'm going to put a little charm on here. So, I don't know if I'll put it on with a bold pin or if I'll if I'll do a you know a ring or what I'll do, but um, that's just to remind me that I want to put a little charm on here on the end so it'll be at the top of the page, and it's going to live on this page right here. Okay, so that was a, a cute little project. Gail does have a video you can go watch hers, and it was just on there yesterday or the day before, so you might want to have a go have a peek. I think it was Scrappy Saturday or Friday. Don't remember. Okay, so. Then we have this page, which I made on camera. I added a little pearl here. It is, for those of you who don't know, it's an envelope that I wrapped around a page, a signature. And um, it has a, it's open on one end and it has a card. And then I have to decorate this, but this side needs some pearls and things. So that needs to be finished decorating. Oh, gosh, I just lost my place. Where did that go? Okay, there we are. All right. So. You saw me make this before. I just stuck a little envelope in there. It's a little tea bag envelope and I need to close it up, decorate, ink it, and the whole bit. So that's one of those things I need to do on camera if we have time today. Um, pocket needs to be decorated. It's all glued on, ready to go. It's going to be uh, one of these bigger um, tags or something like that. It's gonna go in there. I don't know which one yet. And then this may get some gems. This is going to get a little bling. It is a tuck, so you basically go like that. I made this on camera last time. This is my center tuck, and it is all of my pieces like this are done on Epsom presentation paper, matte finish, and it's a, it's a light cardstock. So that's what this is right here. It's a little bit heavier. It's not plain paper. So as you can see, you can put some goodies in your middle if you want, some bigger uh, cards. All right. Um, this will probably get a little something. I don't know. Um, I kind of have some ideas for that. This is another page tuck with a tab, and it has room for a little gem or a, um, what do you call it, a um, charm. So... Uh, Gail and Rachel and Tanya, a bunch of them are making these little, um, so I made some, they're just scrappy tabs is what I'm going to call them, scrappy tabs. And I put some lace and some appliques and this allows you to stick a card in there. All right. So that's done. Um, again, I may go back and add something. I don't know. You know, I always do. Uh, this is my belly band and um, I did add some snug hug underneath my my lace and then I added strings uh, strands of pearls a paper flower and an applique and it is ready to go and then this is a tuck spot so this is just a fussy cut piece um, on a tiny little doily and it will have some tags in it 
Then here we go is another pocket. It needs to be decorated. This, of course, needs to be decorated. We talked about that. Here is another little um, tuck spot. I have to say, this is not my idea. This idea came from Jennifer from A Trace of Sparkles. She inspired me to make this pink journal. She made one. Um, of course, ours are different, but she made a pink journal and she used these as um, tuck spots. So thank you, Jennifer. What a fabulous idea. So, um, and then this will probably be another tuck spot with a doily or something behind it. This has to be decorated. This needs to be decorated. And then I did cover this piece. This was the little um, paper clip notebook, which I don't have sealed yet. I won't close this up until I have it done because it's a nice little, as you can see, it's great. And then you just glue this down and then you could just use it as your paper clip on your page, okay? So that's what I have worked on. Um, and what we're you know going to be working on today now i wanted to share something that i saw in a video by rose hill paper i think it's called rose hill hmm. what's it called um, rose hill paper cottage excuse me she had a video on making what she called um washi tape but it's really not washi it's more like paper tape so what she did was she, um, I will show you here. I'm going to do it with some scraps. I know she used some full uh, pages on hers, but I think I'm just going to do some of these scraps. And make myself some tape, paper tape that I can use in this project. I want to see what else I have in here. That's kind of pretty. Um, this is pretty. I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. Now, what did I do with it? Okay, I have lost my paper tape. Oh, there we go. Okay. So yeah, I just cut the the stuff off and I am going to well it won't really matter so what I have is some double-sided tape I got off of Amazon it's not very heavy um, and she actually did was take full sheets and run these strips down and cut them to make her tape I'm just going to use my Scraps. Eek! This is very, very, very sticky. But it's clear on the back, so that's fine. And we're just going to put that on there. Mm, I don't want to use any of my good scissors. Let me get my little ones. There they are. Eek! Maybe I could just put that on the back of something and use that as a little piece. So what I want is I want to go like this. I like this. Now you can use any two-sided tape. I do have some skinnier stuff too. I'm gonna grab that just in case. I think that might work. Um, gotta find one that's open though. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Huh. I think these might be too skinny. But if I have a skinny piece, we could use that, right? Okay, let's see. Well, I hope you are all doing well and you're happy and safe and enjoying your summer. I wasn't going to use my good scissors. And look what I did. Naughty. So now what you do is you just cut it down the size of your tape. And if this is too thick, you can make it more narrow. I'm not going to keep every little scrap of that. That'll drive me crazy. I'm going to cut this off here.
and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a minute. I mean, I'm going to find a page to put it on or add it as part of a decoration. Let's cut this one down. Mm. Very sticky, very sticky. I want to thank all of you for responding to my first video so, so thoroughly and so kindly and with beautiful comments. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying this. And, you know, you don't have to love pink to enjoy a journal, I don't think. Um, I was never a pink girl. My favorite color is teal and blue and any blue, any blue, but teal is just one of my favorites. And... Um, Gosh, my glasses keep falling down. I can't keep them up today. I don't know what the deal is. Um, so, you know, I've just fallen in love with pink as time has gone over, gone on. I think I probably, it was chosen for me. My little sister and I were just about 18 months apart. No, we weren't even that much, 14 months apart. So my mom, so we'd know whose was whose in clothes because we were pretty much the same size. We were given different colors. I was given blue, she was given pink. Excuse me, I get a drink of water. So I really didn't have a say as to my color. So I've always had a blue room, blue everything. So I think it became my color. But you know what? I think there's a good chance that pink might have been my favorite color. Because I just love it. And I'm shocked. So. Okay, here's a little one. But that's. Might work on this though. Huh. Do you want to do the whole thing? Maybe not. I think it's easier to do it on, you know. I'm going to cut the white off because it's really difficult to figure out where the tape needs to go. I'm not very coordinated at this, I don't think. I know some gals just whip this on here and they don't even think twice about it, but I don't use it very often, but I'm going to be good by the time I'm done with this, I'm telling you. I do want to cut it down to match the tape as best I can. What do I have here? That one. So this is where, if it's wide enough, you can have two side by side. I just don't know. It's awkward. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that right now. This is awkward for me. But it's fun. I mean, it's fun. It's awkward, but it's fun. Not on my mat. Oh, man. Good Lord. It's sticky. Okay, so now you see this little extra. So if I have a little thin strip, which I know I do have some thin strips in these bags of mine. Let me see what I have. If I have a little. Yep, there's one right there. Kind of like the glue. If you get one shot at it, and that's it. There we go. So I am making washi tape. Basically, washi tape is fabulous, but sometimes you cannot. As um, she was saying over on Rose Hill Paper Cottage, sometimes you just they don't have like the color or the style you want. And you look and you buy stuff and then you're like, Ugh, I don't like this. And so, you know. Eek. There's a piece, two pieces. So now when I cut this apart, I 
I have a piece of washi tape there and a piece right here. Now, if you have plain ones and you say you just want to use a basic piece of tan paper, plain pink, you could stamp on this. Find your favorite stamps, stamp on it, and then you would have, um, let's see, I, I, excuse me, I have some, let's just play with this for a minute. I thought I wanted to share with you something that, you know, um, besides just decorating this journal, we'll share a little project with you. Let me get, I'm going to definitely need a stamp off paper because it's going to be, what happened to the one I was working with yesterday? Hmm. Ah, here we go. Not yesterday, last week. Good gracious, time has flown. All right. Now, I don't want to do this in pink. Well, actually, I think brown would be okay. There is brown in this journal, just a little bit, but, well, I'll, I'll try it. What the heck? Mm -hmm. Oh, that came out pretty. I just made my own washi tape. Printed. Word. Washi tape. And then let me take that off there. And let me get my... Oh, no, not oxide. What? Okay, where is my... Where did I put it? Yeah, on the bottom last one kind of beat that up didn't I <laughs> hmm I think maybe I had a little frustration today well you know legitimately I did not sleep a wink last night I think I worked too hard in the garden yesterday I worked for about three hours outside and I just could not go to sleep I was wide awake it was oh it was terrible I hate those nights I literally, I should have just got up and crafted, but then my husband won't sleep if I'm not in bed with him. So, but it was worth it because I love, love, love to garden it is my very favorite thing to do. It's my happy place, my other happy place. Um, when I'm not in here, that's where I want to be all the time. You know, it's just, I love it. Um, what I think I'll do for this one Okay, these are washi tape. I want to make sure I don't mix them in with my trash. Well, that would be bad, right? Put that over there. These are, is this washi tape yet? No, not yet. Okay, so now, yeah, it's going to be a little wide, but that's okay. I could put two on here, right? Good thing I have a big roll of that, right? But in my, I'm gonna have to put my head in here for just a second so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Now I could run another skinny piece up the side. I do have lots of skinny pieces. Let's see, like this, this is a skinny little piece. And then it'll be, it'll be, it'll be sticky after this, so I can use it on something and not have to get out the glue. Won't that be fun? Let's see what else have I got. There's another skinny piece. They don't have to be used in this journal, they can be used in another journal. So this is what I was saying, just because I'm doing it in pink doesn't mean you can't turn around and do this with your botanicals or whatever you've got. You know, do press it down good because you want it to stick. That goes back in my bag. Everybody asks, why don't you throw those away? This is why I don't throw those away. They want to know why I keep all this stuff. Now you know. So I'm going to cut off. Hmm. 
I know it's crazy, but I keep everything for this very reason. I don't really want that white edge, even though we stamped on it. It's sticky and I could keep it, but ugh, silly. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. All right. Now, I'm just going to leave that there for now. I'll, I'll um, take it off when I'm ready. Then you just peel off the back and use it like any other washi tape. We're going to call it paper tape, though. This is not the thick, um, oh, what do you call it? Not the thick um, carpet tape. It's much thinner. Like this one, I could see using, I could put a couple on some of these. I do want a couple of these tapes for this. Oh, it's gonna take too long. So anyway, I'm gonna work on decorating. If I need the colors, we'll come back and we'll we'll make some more. I, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna need yet, but I know I want some. So um I'll wipe off my let that dry. Got quite a bit of stuff on my desk here. <laughs> All right. Washi tape? No, not yet. Will be though. Moss scrappage. Okay, let's go like this. Oh, it's getting warm in here today. Oh my goodness. Okay, now I'm going to set these off to the side to be used as decor. So, all right, let's get back to what we were doing. I haven't done anything with this, but I'll decorate this last mainly because um got about a half hour here. I don't want it to get all damaged and messed up, so I'll decorate this last with some pearls and some gems and some with Castella and maybe a little lace. I'm not sure. I went and pulled. I don't have very much white lace. I'm sort of struggling. I thought I had more than I do, so it's kind of a bummer, but what are you going to do? I have an order out, and I'm waiting for it to come in, but I don't think it's going to come in in time. Okay, so this is our first... We need some, like, oh, okay, that'll tell me where, oh, I just hate this because I'm always worried I'm going to put it back in the wrong place because, I mean, I have this perfect, so, well, or as perfect as you can get. Now, I already have the lace on. I did do that. But I do want to add some of my pearls. I don't know why I put those scissors away. I do need them. Okay. So as I was saying over the weekend, um, here comes the chat part. I did work in the garden. I did a lot of deadheading with my flowers and plants. And I did some transplanting. I transplanted some flowers that I had in here in little pots out to the garden because they were getting too big. And um, I also had a bunch of succulents that started just tiny in little pots and they actually grew out of the pots and went crazy. So those I had to put in. I threw out the part that I didn't want and broke off the parts I did want and restarted them. So that was really fun. And that was up on my, um, cleaned off my, uh, my husband built me a potting bench and many, many, many years ago. And so I still have it. It's starting to fall apart though. We, we, I gave it a facelift a few years ago, but it apparently it needs another one. We were looking at it and we went and I used the wrong sealer on the wood. I used an indoor sealer, not an outdoor. I grabbed the wrong can so it didn't protect it very well, which isn't good. So we're going to have to repaint it, sand it and paint it, and probably add some new boards. But I do love my potting bench. And of course, it's special because Greg built it for me. And then I painted it and painted vines on it and all kinds of pretty things, which I probably won't do again. That's a one-time thing. Yeah. 
don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm kind of outlining the word tea room and sparkles. And then I'm just going to put some person who gets this will see this. It, it doesn't show on camera. I'm sorry to say, but I do need to do it. So I'm just going to do it while you're watching. Okay. I'm not going to worry about decorating the, um, um, I think this dries really quick. Oh, I don't know if you could see that. Probably not. But I'm going to keep that page. No, I have to decide if I want to add a little sparkles here or not. Or if I want to put a few up here. I could try. I will tell you when the wheels fall off the bus, I was trying to use these and it was not successful. <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe this is better this time. I don't know. I'm a little more familiar with how to use it. I'm going to keep it simple for now. I may go back and add them. I'm still debating on that. But I've added the pearls I wanted to add in that. And then I will decide what I'm going to do with these cards um, after. So we're done with this page. I'm going to put it back in. Our little birdie page is done. That page is done. That page is done. That's done. This one. This one needs some Wicca Stella and some gems, so I don't think I'll do that on camera. Okay, so here we go. Did those fall out of there? Yes, they did. All right. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. Now we have this little plain body. Not my favorite piece, but someone else might really love it. So this might be one of those pieces where I use a little tape to decorate up there yep absolutely what i was thinking all right so let me get my so yesterday i had a great time in the yard i loved it three three and a half hours out there then i sat outside afterwards and answered some comments excuse me i'm gonna get some water Really dry mouth because I had to take a bunch of Benadryl. <clears throat> so that was fun and I loved it and I thoroughly enjoyed my time in the garden. Anytime I can get out there, I'm happy. Uh, the guys are going to be starting on the stairs tomorrow, the wooden stairs we have going up the um, retaining wall. But the retaining wall looks great. They did such a wonderful job. So tomorrow they're going to start on the stairs, which will be Tuesday for me. You're seeing this on Wednesday. So they will have already started it by the time you see it. And hopefully it's going well. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, they're going to try to do as much as they can before it gets hot again. We're having a quick little break from the heat. The fog sort of has been coming in a little bit. Maybe not all the way, but enough on the coast that uh, it's cooling down enough for the guys to work out there again. It got too hot. It went into the 90s, and they were both getting heat stroke really bad. And I know Joe had another project he was supposed to work on for someone else, so he couldn't help Greg. Okay, so now we have this lovely little piece of washi tape. Okay. Eek. Once it's down, it's down, so I got to be careful here. There we are. There's our little decoration there. And then I want to put a piece of lace there. Um, I have to see. Oh my goodness, I grabbed all kinds of laces. I think this one would work okay. I'm going to do is just do a little 
trim and then I'm going to cut the border off, you know, where it gathers because I don't need it to be gathered. A little tedious, but it's not too bad. I keep all these little pieces to use as tag toppers. Well, I hope you're enjoying this whole series. I had planned to do the black and white series today, but the prep on that is turning out to be a much bigger project than I ever anticipated. So I don't have that one ready. The prep work is horrendous on it. So um, I am hoping to have that on the next, maybe Friday's video. Trying to figure out which way I want this to go. Have a little more trimming to do. Basically, I'm making my own little lace because my laces are too wide. I do cut them down to make them fit. If you don't have a lace that fits, cut it down. See if you can do something new and exciting with it. Oh, yes. Okay. I missed a spot. Because I worked so hard in the yard, I am one tired puppy today. Just too much. I did too much. And I'm paying for it. But I don't care. <laughs> it's okay, I didn't sleep. I just ask you to bear with me. If I'm a little slow or use the wrong word. Hopefully this video went better than the last one. Try to decide up or down. Down. Okay. I'm fussing again. Sorry. You know me. When it comes to my decorating, I'm a fuss budget. Takes me forever and ever and ever. I am not quick at decorating because I just want everything to be just so. Okay. This is going to need to get inked and glued. I'll do that later. This is a tuck here and then there's... Um, did I put a card in here? I think I did. No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to need a card for there. I'll have to pick one out. That's just in the tuck spot for right now. Aren't these the prettiest paper clips? They're kind of unusual. I got them at um, Dollar Tree. Usually they're the red and green, but they, they came out with these and I had to grab them because they're so cute. And I used so many paper clips. Oh man, going to have to call me the paper clip queen pretty soon. Let go of my scissors so I may cut you. Jeez. Come on now. Goodness. Let go. Let go. Gosh. I usually use five right here. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to need some more glue there. Oh, yeah, and I had big-time glue issues in my last video. I don't know what the deal was. So, I think I got that fixed. Goodness. When I say the wheels fell off the bus, I mean they fell off hard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Goodness. But it happens to the best of us, and I had technical difficulties, and I just said, I'm done. I just... Drop my glasses, and how, I won't tell you where they ended up, but I had to wash them really good and sanitize them. So, you know, it's just been one of those funky days that you have, and you're thinking, why did I get out of bed? I don't know why I got out of bed. To make a video, I guess. <laughs> for you guys. <laughs> oh, anyway. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Okay, a little... 
I don't know if I'm going to go back and add gems or not. I'm not going to do that on camera, I think, because the gems are, I have to get my nose right down in there to do it. But you got to see what you do with the, um, the um, washi tape that we just made. Ended up here. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, and then I'll worry about that later. All right, so we've added a little lace and some pearls. That makes it look better. What do we have left here? Yeah, I've got some stuff to do there. Okay, so now I know I want I know I want lace down here. I just don't think I want that lace. I wasn't all that excited. You know, I have some pretty little daisies. Excuse me. Why the hiccups again? Oh. I think it's because I'm talking all the time. I'm drinking water. I've learned how to stop them pretty quick, but come on, come on, come on. Where's the end? What do we think of daisies with some pearls in the middle? Ooh, I think that would be pretty. Let's try that. Well, we'll either like it or we won't, right? Now, I was I, I could put a word there, or I could put like one of my little images, or I could put a butterfly. Let me see what I got. Butterflies really don't go with tea, but I'm kind of getting tired of the same old, same old. So I don't like the black on the butterflies. Maybe I could do that and then put some sparkles on it and then put some pearls there because I want to keep it simple. I don't want to overdo the envelope. Or my other option is to put like a, not on that one, I don't. Mm -hmm. no. Not on that one. I mean, I don't know. Let's see what else I've got. I know one thing I do not like. I'm going to cut that. That wasn't my best fighting, fussy cutting job. I can tell you right now the antennas are not working. They're too tiny. All you see is the white. Sorry, little baby. No more antennas for you. No more feelers. All gone. Oh, what time have we got? Oh dear, I'm running out of time. Let's see, what time do I have till? Oh, I got about 14 more minutes. But then I feel like this needs something behind it. It doesn't have to be over decorated. It really doesn't. I mean, you know, I tend to just over decorate like everything under the sun. So let me glue this on. And then I'm going to add some pearls to each one. And then I'm going to add. Oh, wait. Did I have that on the wrong side? No, that's the right side. Okay. Let me just go. You know, I filled this up the other day when I put the lace on, and I really went right through that. That lace does eat up a lot of Fabri-Tac. And as you saw, it doesn't always stay on, so I don't know what's happening with my glues, but I notice I'm having more and more trouble getting the glue. Maybe I'm not putting enough on. I'm too dainty. Need to be a little more brutal with my glue. Um, let's see. I have. Okay. See, so I have a brown one that I like. Did I do the little brown ones? Yeah. No, this one. Possibly. Or more pink. I do have some embossed pink ones that are real, real pretty. It does add some dimension. This one's a pink flower. I like both, so either one's okay. All 
Oh, good. The air conditioner is going on. It's hot in here. It's in the afternoon. I actually filmed this morning, uh, like I said, and then the wheels fell off the bus and then the bus crashed. And so <laughs> oh, I started over. Okay. I really shouldn't make videos when I don't sleep the night before. Then if I want, I could put a word there. All right, why don't I do that? Um, and these are those things I always pre-cut, so when I want to do something like this, I don't have to worry about cutting it. It's already ready to go. Um, I like it on the side. Pearls. Now, where did I put the pearls I was using earlier in my first video? Hello, where did you go? You were on my desk. I hear, no, that's not them. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I was thinking I need a little bit bigger pearl for the center of these. Yep. I will have to glue these. Oh, dear. We have snot ball here. I mean, glue ball. Reminds me of a kid with a cold. My son always had a runny nose, so... He had asthma and allergies bad when he was a kid. I don't know how he is now because he lives in Arizona, so he probably doesn't have the same allergies that he had as a kid. Is that the right pearl? Yes, it is. There's like four sizes there. I got those um, from Amazon, and they were, they sent me like, I don't know, 600 of these or 900 of them. All, and I didn't realize they were going to be different sizes all in the same sheet, but that's okay. Okay, this glue ball is not cutting it. I want to squeeze out the amount I want, not what it wants to give me. This stays wet for a little bit, so I think it's fine. I don't take them off the sheet with that because they end up popping all over my room and then the cats end up with them. Tommy especially, I swear. If there's the tiniest little anything on the floor, that boy will find it. And the bad part is he'll eat it. And so then we end up with an obstruction, which we do not want. We have gone through all the sickness I can handle with my cats right now. And Toby seems to be doing very well, um, better than we expected. He seems to have done a little turnaround, so we'll see. Misty, um, her asthma is still pretty bad. I don't know if there's anything they can do for her. The other option is steroids, which I'm hesitant to use because she's already a very big girl. She actually is 18 pounds, and she is eating exactly the same food and the same amount at the same time as her brother, and he weighs like 10 pounds, so 10 or 11. So we cannot figure out it's her metabolism, and her daddy's 20 pounds, so... But it is not good for her breathing. It is causing issues with her breathing. So I don't know what we're gonna do for that. I'm gonna stand that up because it's just getting to be a real problem. But she is way better. The infection that she had, the bronchitis she has, is all but gone. So we're really thrilled about that. She just, we don't know what we're gonna do about the weight and the wheezing it hasn't gotten better. I think we're just stuck with that at this point. Okay. No. I do have some tiny little pearls we could put down on there. Hmm, this will be fun. They should work, but the problem is, is it's sticky on the back, so it sticks to. Oh, I give up. with my fingers because everything else I use it's sticking to
I'm gonna see if I can at least get two pearls on there. Ha uh ha. -huh. I saw Angela Kerr do this with this little pokey tool and she's very successful at it. And guess what, it works. Yay, I finally found something that works. Thank you, Angela. Oh my gosh. I know she's a subscriber, but I don't know if she has time to watch very often. She's very busy with her work and her channel. So there you have it. Isn't that adorable? Oh, I love this pocket. Oh my gosh. So if I decide later I want a word, I could put it there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Okay, so that little page is done and worth the pain and effort. <laughs> this one is going to need some Wicca Stella and some little gems. I will do that later. Same with those. This one, I think, I don't think, I don't, I was thinking about putting just two little pearls on there, and I think I am going to do that. Um, I don't think I'm going to use... that with the lid on it see if that'll help someone suggested tapping your glue down and it would help with the or as i found out sometimes just releasing the pressure helps it that's all but glued on lordy all righty let's see what i can do here uh, for pearls how big a pearl do i want maybe this size of course, it would help if I put some glue on there first, right? Wouldn't it? Girl, you are tired today. If you're forgetting the basics. <laughs> right there. I know what I'm going to be doing after this video. Taking a nap. Assuming the video is good and I don't need to do it again. I, I don't think I have a third time in me. I really don't. I think I... Oh my gosh, I figured out how to do these. Yay, oh my goodness. I am one happy camper. Oh, wow. Yay. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Finally remembered what I saw in a video. Oh gosh. Just got to get new new tools, new things, you know? I even think I need one there and one there. You know me, got to have my pearls or I'm not a happy girl. Got to have my bling, bling, bling. Well, I hope you're all well, uh, safe and happy. I hope I didn't say that already because I don't know if I did or not. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you're crafting and you're having a good summer and maybe you're doing, getting ready to go on vacation or just coming back from vacation. I think I forgot to put some here or it already soaked itself up. I don't know. Yeah. There is some sticky on these pearls. So I don't, I think between the glue and the sticky, it should be okay. there oh pretty okay so that finished that off nicely so I, I feel like that's done except for picking out a charm which I need to separate my charms tonight I need to put those by the stairs so they go downstairs and I can this is done this one needs sparkles and gems and I may come back and do that we'll see I want to see what else I've got here oh here we go we have another um pocket page now do we want to do the same thing i ordered a bunch of this lace i'm hoping it comes in oh oh this one i have to cut down okay hmm, it's not ready yet these all need to be cut down they're they're laces that i cut apart and then use them so that won't work okay we're not going to use you put you in the pile let's see what else i have Oh, see, now this one's already pre-cut. But I did order some of this already cut. Looks like this. I think I ordered 10 yards of it. I ordered a lot of lace. I put in a very big lace order. I think I ordered it from Antique Laces. Um, thanks to Gail. I saw it on her channel. And I jumped at the chance to do it. To get some things that... Um... um SM Tiffany Lane didn't have. This is usually where I get a lot of my laces and appliques I get from um, SM Tiffany Lane. Uh, I get a lot of stuff from her. And, um, but she didn't have some of the stuff I wanted. So I went over to that other place and oh my gosh, I'm in love. They have some of the most beautiful things. I'm trying to decide which way I want this to go. 
Maybe just let it hang down a little bit out of the bottom. Wouldn't that be pretty? Okay, I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. I've been using this sparingly. It's one of my favorites. I've been like hoarding it. I think I said that in my last video where I used it, which was for the waterfall was made with this. Um, these papers and lace. So, I'm not sure how far out I was going to go with this. So, let's see. Okay, I'm going to bring it down a bit. Trashing my nails big time. <laughs> okay. Hmm, too long. All right. Maybe I could do it a little bit shorter. Yeah. Keep that little bit. It'll go on something. Like a mini envelope or something. Let's try this again. Would probably work better with fabric tech, but it, this stuff works just as well. You know, I I don't I think this works just fine for me. I'm gonna move this up just a bit. Stretch it out a bit. There we are. This is a wet one, or it was one. Oh, you know what? It dried out on me. Air conditioner's on, so nothing stays wet in here. Isn't this cute? Same company, same group. Had these darling little boxes at Easter, and I made some. Aren't they adorable? I need to decorate it up, but it's sitting on my, my desk here. Yeah. Well, that was a really wet one. <laughs> I'm very wet with that one. All right. Yeah, I like the lace off the bottom there. What else do we want to put on this one? Do we maybe want to use one of our new little washi tapes? Maybe not. Oh, I don't know. Maybe this one with the writing on the bottom. And then put a little, um, let's see. How am I gonna do this? How do I wanna do this? That just blends in. This one doesn't, but I think it's a whole thing. It all just blends in, so maybe I won't. That doesn't, if I wanted to go with the roses right there, but. Maybe not on this pocket, but you get the idea of why we make these. I know I'm going to make a bunch, so I have them for my projects. Just gives you one more thing that you can use. Um, let's see. Do I want this? And then I put a little, like a butterfly or something in the middle, or one of these um, cups or something. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so let's see what else I've got here. not big enough. I want something long and I don't think I have any. I just had a few of these left. Yeah, what if I just put it side by side and kind of did that? Oh, Misty, I hear you at my door. Mama hears you. I want to come in. She does not like being locked up from her mom. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Other option I have, which I just saw, is to put, wait, I'll leave those two together because I don't want to lose that. Where was it? Is to put like a lace butterfly on there, something like that. I don't want to put too many butterflies on here, though. Because this is a tea room. That is pretty. Hmm. And then if I put some sparkles and some Wicca Stell on, that would be very pretty. But, but, I think I really liked this. I'm going to go with that. 
but that's a possibility for another um, something else I might want to put in here. And I've already inked this, but I'm just going to make sure I got all the corners. And I'm going to put just a tiny bit on here. Not that that really made a big difference. Oh, well, guess what? We have gone over our time. I just noticed that. Oh my goodness, I'm over my hour. Well, I want to thank you all for coming along and hanging out with me today and uh, giving me a try for our second or third try on this video. Now, next time you see it, a lot more of this will be done. In fact, we'll probably be getting ready to um, move on to the cover. I think that might be the next thing you see. So, um, but you get an idea of where I'm going with it. We pretty much got everything, uh, other than the things that are just going to be some tucks with some Wicca Stella. I think we've done everything we can do on here, um, you know, for decorating, but we'll go over it. And if there's anything new that you, I thought you think you might want to see, I'll save that project, you know, for us to do together. But there you have it. We have done some major decorating on here. I'm going to go finish that. Now I have a little more to do, but I don't know. We'll see if we want to do a fourth one of these and then do the cover and that'll be it. So we'll see. We will see. I'm hoping to give you a little break and do work on the black and white journal. We will see if we can do that. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a comment and make sure you're a subscriber because all those things will get you into the drawing for uh, one of my journals hopefully this one um, and so please do that so thanks a lot I will see you all very soon hugs and kisses bye bye